Today I'm going to show you how to make a scope in Unreal Engine. Make a new folder, call it scope. Make a render target, call it scope, render, target. Now you want to open this render target, crank up the resolution a tiny bit. So I'm doing 1024 by 1024. Now you also want to make a new material, you want to call it scope, material. This render target texture, we're going to plug it in here. I'm going to flip it into the base color. And we're going to set this material to be unlit. I'm going to save this and that's your scope material. The base color is not connected, you have to connect it to the emissive color, of course. Alright, so let's set this up in the first person blueprint so you can actually have a scope. In here you want to come into the viewport, you want to add a plane and you want to drag it under the first person camera. Now we want to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's facing the player camera. And on this you want to slap on your material. There you go, now you can see the rendered scene in here. Throw this by 90 degrees, make it smaller. <laughs> And then you want to add a scene capture component to the, and you want to throw it under this camera as well. Change the scaling, rotate it by 90 degrees. Now it's properly oriented. And move it to the front somewhere where your scope is supposed to be. You got to again choose your render target, scope render target. You can see there's a scope now and yeah, it's beautiful. We need to have some zoom in here. So change the FOV down to 15. With this plane selected, you want to make the offset zero and so move it directly where the camera is and move it forward a bit. Same thing goes for this scene capture component. Now to make this look a little bit more like a scope, we need a texture. You can download these in the description. And there's a mask for the scope. Now let's set up this material. This, this material needs to have some mask translucency. And you're going to slap this in here. We're just going to lerp A over B using the alpha from this texture. And there you go, this should give you the right result. There you go, this is what it should look like. Once we press play now, you can see that the scope is actually working. So yeah, that's it from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun making awesome games. Whoa, look at that.